enjoyed the cricket today and we hope uh, Bangladesh do bet a win on Friday maybe. Very close game, you were unlucky. The shame about Shakib, maybe his career now is over. <laughs> game, I um, hope it will be a little bit more exciting than today. Um, but hopefully um, we'll win in a close game between both teams. Well, maybe, I, I don't know, he's, he's not played as much cricket as he would have liked to have played. So I, I thought he was very poor to begin with, but he came back fantastically um, and his economy rate was much better and also he, he looked threatening. His, his pace is incredible when you've got him and Mark Wood both bowling at 85, 90 miles an hour. As I say, I think that was the difference today. Bangladesh didn't have anyone bowling at that pace um, and, and that's why you just couldn't get over the line at the end. Do you think it is a better preparation for a uh, World Cup, uh, you know? Uh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I, I think we needed to come to Asia. In the circus? Uh, yeah. No, we, we've been to Pakistan recently and and now Bangladesh, um, it, it can only make these players better. I know a lot of them bat in the IPL and, and the, the Pakistan Premier League, but batting in, in conditions like that, 50 overs regularly, is what they need. And they'll only get better in these conditions the more practice they get. Oh, thank you, thank you. And uh, what about your journey here? Bangladesh, a very hospitable country, you know oh, that. Is. Absolutely, yeah. I've only been in the country like 24 hours, but um, everyone's been so friendly, everyone's just been so welcoming. And um, yeah, I'm really glad that I've made this trip. I'm looking forward to, to the next match here and then going to Chittagong for, for the, the next part of the tour as well. I'm sure that all the England fans, I know there's not many of us, um, but all the England fans that I've spoken to are saying the same thing. It's, it's been extremely welcoming, a uh, wonderful place to come. And, and I think you'll see us again the next time there's a tour here. What's your prediction? Uh, who's going to win this series? Uh... I, I think England will get stronger. I think now they've had a taste of the conditions. So I, th I think this was a good chance for Bangladesh to, to maybe get a win. I'm not saying it will end 3-0, but I think uh, Bangladesh needs to up their game because England certainly will. I don't think um, Josh Butler and Jason Roy uh, are going to file on a regular basis, so you're, you're going to be looking Justin at big Roy, totals. I, you said Justin Roy. Justin Roy, uh, uh, currently uh, he's a pro uh, right now, but he chooses uh, as the opener. Uh, what, do you, uh, what do you think about it? Yeah, he, he's here. Um, and he got only four runs today. Yeah, he, he's here. He's not in great form. I think England are hoping he'll play himself back into good form. But there's a lot of players waiting in the wings. Um, Alex Hales didn't come on this tour. Johnny Bairstow's coming back from injury. Um, ben Stokes was captain in the test team. Joe Roots with the test team. So when you look at the strength in depth, someone like Jason Roy knows that if he, well, and I haven't even mentioned Harry Brook. I mean, come on, that's the new superstar, potentially. So everyone in this England team knows that there's someone waiting to take their place if they fail consistently. So I don't think you'll, you'll see Jason Roy back like that again in the Thank next Thank you for match. your nice conversation with us. This is absolutely great, grateful we are because you give uh, give me time and gives your opinion about Bangladesh versus England. That's an excellent form you. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Absolutely. <laughs> thank thank you. you so much. Thank you so much.